guys welcome back to my channel this is Pashwika the channel where we make amazing design tutorials in Photoshop, Photopea and various different software. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a crystalline pattern, texture, gradient, whatever you call it in Photoshop. The, we were going to use some of the filter features in the Photoshop that can help you make this beautiful crystalline pattern. So without further ado let's get straight with that. Before we go, consider clicking the like button guys. I do appreciate that. If you want more such video, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. Whenever I'm gonna upload new videos, you're gonna get notified about it. Also, if you're looking for some graphics freebies, then I have on my website. This is www.globalcreative.com. The link is in the description box below. If you are a creative person looking forward to make money online, then I have my other YouTube channel where I talk a lot about making money online as a creative person. The link is in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. I'm going to be diving into my laptop and I'm going to show you one. So let's do that. Okay guys, currently we are in the Photoshop, you can see very well. Now we will going to quickly go and pick up the white canvas. So I'm going to go over to the file option, the click over to the new option. And then I'm going to be picking up the canvas. I'm going to take the 3000 by 3000 pixels of the canvas. You can very well pick up your own specific size of this file that you want. Resolution 72 RGB mode color then background content i'm gonna keep it as a white you can probably select any foreground color if you really want to and that's it now we are going to click over to the ok button and we will going to proceed further with having a white canvas so here we are having a white canvas now we will going to select the multiple different options i'm gonna go over to the brush tool and we will going to select a brush tool first of all so here it is uh, above that the custom brush tool i'm gonna be selecting this custom brush tool you can select the brush tool now I'm going to be selecting the specific brushes. You can pick up whatever brush that you want to choose that the Photoshop already offers you. I'm going to pick up a random brush. So I'm going to be selecting this particular brush and then I can increase or decrease the size. You can do the way you want to. The increase the size and de decrease the size of your brush size depending on how much color you want in your canvas and how you want to place them. You can increase and decrease the hardness as well. The ratio is there. You can see the size of the brush is very small. So I'm going to quickly go and increase the size of the brush. The size of the brush which I really want. So I'm going to increase it even more. So I've increased the size of the brush and I'm using a sky blue color and I'm going to be using this brush tool to make the pattern kind of like brush tool. Now I'm going to change its color. You can probably choose any color you want to, but I want to test drive with a different color so that I can have a different crystalline pattern. So I'm going to be picking up different colors as a dark blue color and I'm going to be using this brush tool again. Now I'm going to be going back and I'm going to be going over to the filter option. Sorry, I'm going to go over to the ed ed filter option and I'm going to go over to the option over here which is the uh, different options you are getting in the filter. So we have to go over to the option, the pixelate, and I'm going to go over to the crystallize. And then you are getting this particular size of the small window, which you can very well select the level, how bigger you want the cell size or how smaller you want the cell size. So depending on the cell size of the crystals, that way your things will going to vary. So probably you can select the way you want to. So I'm going to choose a very specific size, which I want to. Uh, you all can also choose a different percentage that you're seeing over here. I'm going to select this particular percentage, which I feel like it's fine with my own size of the crystals of my patterns, which I'm going to select and click over to the OK option. And we were going to see that our crystalline structure is formed. So you can see the crystal pattern has been formed. But again, I feel like I want to add more colors to my crystal. And so I'm going to be choosing a different color over here. Uh, currently, I'm going to select different options. So I have chosen the green color and I'm going to keep more brush tool and then I'm going to be using the filter tool again to create the crystalline pattern. So we have the enough of the green color. So I'm choosing the different colors of the foreground color of my brushes so that I can have a different variety of my pattern. The, you can choose whatever kind of a filter you want. Sorry, whatever type of pattern you want, you can choose a color according to it. Now again, I'm going to go over to the pixelate option, I'm going to go over to the crystal. Then I'm going to select the size of my cell. Again, I'm going to select the size of the cells uh, percentage. You can select the percentage or you can increase or decrease. I think I'm happy the way it's looking. Or I can probably decrease it to 25%. You can see the percentage and you can just try with that. Then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to see how it's looking all together. You can just see that and then click OK. So 
this is a kind of a crystalline pattern that I'm getting. I can think I'm going to add more colors to it. And then we were going to proceed again back to the filter option. And we were going to create again. So I'm going to take a pink color because it was a lot of the blue and green. So I want to have a different color. You can have a monochromatic crystalline pattern. Or you can have a two or three colors. Not more than that. It depends on you. So I've added the pink. I'm going to go back again uh, to the pixelate the cr crystalline option. And I'm going to increase and decrease the cell size the way I want for my pattern. And you can just see and how it's looking over there. And then once you're satisfied with that, just click OK. So you can see a pattern we are seeing currently right now with the pink tube, with the pink color of the brush. Now, I think I'm going to test drive with the different things. I'm going to decrease the size of my brush size so that I can have a small, small colors in the crystals. Or you can see a probably small crystal. So I have decreased the size of my brush so that I can have a pink color and a small, small direction. So I have a small, small colored crystals in the somewhere in the blue and the green shade. So that's what I want in my pattern. So that's what I did probably. Then I'm going to change the color. I'm going to pick up the blue one and the same size of the brush. And I'm going to put it in the pink so that I can have the blue crystals in the pink one so that's what i really want for my pattern it all depends on you how you want your pattern to look like so you can see the blue and green kind of like a scatter now i'm going to pick up another color that's the green so we have the blue green and pink colors that's the color combination i'm using for my pattern so i'm going to be using this again green color and putting in the small small brush sets in the different different directions so that i have a small crystals in the pattern so that's what i really want and that's what i'm doing over here which you can probably relate to it then again i'm going to go back to the pixelate the crystalline option and now we can increase and decrease the cell size so i'm going to decrease the cell size to 25 percent and I'm going to see how it's looking. You can see the small crystals are dispersed in the bigger colored crystals. That's what I want as the end result. And you could see how our pattern. So you can see the small, small crystals, the brush, the small size of the brush colors that we used. It started to the small crystals. That's giving a pretty amazing look. I'm going to add more color to it and see how it's looking. So I'm going to take a pink color again, the small size of the brush and add more colors to it. The small brush size here and there where I see that there is a more green or there is a more blue to give that more crystalline look. You can repeat the process until you're, satisf until you're satisfied with the pattern that you see. So I'm just using a pink because I see that there was a lot of the green in the spice. And I want the pink, blue and green all colors to kind of like a mix together well. So again, I'm going to go over to the option, the pixelate, going over to the crystalline option, decreasing the cell size because cell size is way more larger. And then I'm going to decrease and click OK and see how my pattern is looking. OK, this has been created into small crystals in the green that was of the pink. Again, I'm going to go back and see and test drive with the different stuff over here. So I'm going to go back, pixelate, crystalline. And I'm going to decrease the cell size and see I'm going to have increased a little bit. And then I'm going to decrease, increase a little bit and see how it's probably looking. And OK, so if I'm increasing the cell size, it's looking somewhere like that, but I think again, I'm going to go back again to the pixelate, the crystalline option and do a little bit more testing until I satisfied with the crystalline pattern or textures that I'm getting. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to click over to the file, the save option, and we can quickly save the file. Once you are satisfied with the pattern that you have made and you can quickly export it as a JPEG or PNG file format, I'm exporting as a PNG. Uh, that could be a big, little bit bigger file size, 3000 to 3000 pixels and very well name your file depending on what color is having. Once you're done with that, I'm just renaming my pattern. So once you're done with that, click OK and boom, we have finished with the crystalline beautiful pattern in the Photoshop. That's it for today's tutorial. Hopefully you find today's video useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have you ever tried to make the crystalline Photoshop pattern? I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much for doing in today's video. I'll get us in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.